Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sebastian back again with more waters. Wow! <laughs> but in the last video, I showed you guys the pH level of regular bottled water. Um, but today, I'm going to be doing the same pH test, but this time I'll be using alkaline bottled water and my Kangen water. So, like I told you guys in the last video, anything alkaline is going to be showing either a darker blue or purple. So that's what I'm expecting to see out of these bottles just because they're claiming to be alkaline. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour them out and we're gonna see what we find out. Alright, so here's the results of the pH of the alkaline bottled water. Um, and I know exactly what you're thinking. You're probably saying, hey Sebastian. That essential looks kind of good. I'm gonna go buy that one. But here's the thing that you need to understand. There's a huge difference between alkaline water and alkalized water. Alkaline water is chemically made, so they put more things into it to make it alkaline. So that's why you probably hear people saying that drinking a lot of alkaline water is bad. To a certain extent, they're correct because it's chemically made. It's gonna imbalance your body. But alkalized water is made electrically. So it basically goes through an electrolysis process and it charges the water with antioxidants as well. But you might be asking yourself, why do we need antioxidants? Well, we have what we call free radicals in our bodies. But hold on, what is a free radical? Free radicals are molecules with an unpaired electron in search of another electron. They roam freely in our bodies, seeking out and destroying our healthy cells. Left unchecked, high free radical levels have been linked to a number of diseases, including diabetes, coronary heart disease, and cancer. Antioxidants help our body fight back and repair itself from the inside out. They give free radicals the electron they're looking for, stabilizing them before they damage our cells. Increasing your antioxidant consumption on a daily basis has been shown to lower free radical levels and promote better health. That being said, there's only one way to find out which beverages has antioxidants, and that's by using an ORP meter. ORP basically stands for oxidation reduction potential or the potential to reduce oxidation. So if you see a positive number, it means it's oxidizing you, you know, aging you slowly but surely. But if you see a negative number, it means it contains antioxidants, which is anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, anti-everything. <laughs> so we'll see, we're gonna start with this one. So what we got? It looks like it's 190, 193. The 9.5 from 7-Eleven, we got 134. So this, the, all these waters are still oxidizing you. Let's go ahead and go with core. It's higher. It's in the 200s now with core. This is eternal. With eternal going in the higher 200s. This is some alkaline water 8.8, 8, 164. We got Essentia. It claims to be 9.5. It's still oxidizing you, still a positive number. Now we got 1907, we got 200, we got Kangen water, negative 700. Now I want to show you guys what happens when you put Kangen water in the other environments. Now we got 1907, it's in the negatives, it was in the negative before, Essentia, negative 8.8 .8 alkaline water. Negatives, eternal, core, 9.5 from 7 Eleven, negatives, <laughs> ever more. It's in the negatives, guys. So, <laughs> this is why drinking Kangen water is so important, guys, because it's gonna eliminate all those free radicals in our bodies. I don't know about you guys. But I want to look like a grape and not like a raisin when I'm 80. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>